they're cool, they remind us of uh, secret passageways, um, um, maybe, um, you know, you know, secret warehouses, uh, tunnels are hidden and they're neat, but uh, our tunnels, the tunnels of the Western Wall are on a higher level. For us, the tunnels are an opportunity to discover more about the city, the ancient city of Jerusalem, to bring something of the Second Temple and Second Temple Jerusalem back to life. Uh, the story of the tunnels starts with the story of Jerusalem, and the story of Jerusalem begins with the creation of the world. Of the universe not only chose to create his world, but also to connect to it, and possibly an opportunity for a place through which the people of the world can um, can connect through it to the divine, to the creator. What I mean is this: King David came to Jerusalem and wanted to make the city, and made the city his capital, and wanted to build a temple on this spot for for the Holy One, blessed be He. But he was a man of war, and his time was a time of conflict. And it just didn't fit that he should build a house to represent the creator of all nations, and the house to represent the harmony and peace of the world. It wasn't right. So um, his son, King Solomon, was the one to build the temple. And King Solomon prayed that this should be a house of prayer for all the nations, and through this place all the pray prayers should reach heaven. It is the center of town. It is the marketplace of Jerusalem. Now, this marketplace started here and ended up down. So Hezekiah is not all tomorrow. Very similar to this. Uh-huh. Mount Osnero. Yeah. 